Hi friends, welcome to Sketchware Tutorials. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how to use Seek Bar, which is recently added in Sketchware. So, let's open the app Sketchware and create a new project. I am going to name it as a Seek Bar. Uh, as you already know, uh, I think you already know about this seek bar. As you can see, uh, I just drag and drop this is seek bar here. Um, this is the feature recently added by the Sketchware, and uh, in this video, I am going to show you how to use this uh, for your Android app. Uh, for this, uh, I am going to take the one text view. That's it, and. Uh, I am taking one button that's all and let's move to the logic section now and here uh, to perform the sigbar actions you have to add events uh, for that as you can see when you tap on add new event you will see there are three options available there sigbar on progress changed sigbar on start tracking touch on stop tracking touch you have to add these These are optional, uh, you can do if you want or you can just simply leave it and when sigbar on progress changes, that means when you thumb uh, touches this sigbar, uh, it will be moved and for that I am going to take this set text text view and I'm going to take this that's all and let me set the text view one as current progress is equal to progress value to decimal and total is 100 because uh, by default uh, the progress bar default maximum value is 100 so that's why I am taking this and uh, you have to show a message to the user you can do it um, or you can not it's your wish let me copy this block and paste it here that's it and when on start tracking touch we have to show it the same thing to the user and that's it and when you stop the tracking touch I'm just showing a message to the user set successfully uh, let me add one more thing here let me add an operator and I'll join Set successfully current progress is that's it and let's move to the logic section sorry view section and here as you can see seek bar get progress and this is a number value so you have to convert this into string that's it and when this button is clicked you have to I am just showing a demo to you uh, when this button is clicked uh, just set the progress of the seek bar to 50% 
that's it i'll just showing a way of possibility here mm, not like that uh, you can use this for your games or speeding actions or like time blocks or you can use it for rotations images etc etc um, now let me run this app and let's see whether it is working or not let's install it open um here as you can see um i'm going to tap on this when i press this button as you can see the progress is increased to 50% and it can it can show me a message can progress 50 out of 100 and i can just drag and drop this and here as you can see it will show me a message with current progress um that's it for today guys uh, please like and subscribe for more videos like this thank you in the next video i'm going to show you um how to use the custom switch tutorial which is recently added by sketchware um i already did it uh without that help but uh, we can do it also with the default switch value